Okay, let's start our world news with the political turmoil in the U.S. The White House has insisted that the admission by President Trump's former lawyer Michael Cohen that he broke campaign finance laws does not mean the president himself is implicated. For more on this and other news from around the world, let's turn to our Noah Adam. Adam, some serious allegations coming from Cohen and the White House is now attempting to distance itself from them. That's right, Mark. On Tuesday, if you remember, Cohen pleaded guilty to violating finance laws during Trump's 2016 presidential campaign by paying hush money to two of the president's alleged mistresses. Cohen added he was instructed by Trump to, to uh, commit those crimes. This is significant because the admission has come from someone who was known to be Trump's so-called fix-it lawyer for more than a decade. However, on Wednesday, the White House pushed back against those claims. As the president has stated on numerous occasions, he did nothing wrong. There are no charges against him in this. Uh, and just because Michael Cohen uh, made a plea deal doesn't mean that that implicates the president on anything. Sanders, however, declined to answer questions on when Trump knew about the payments to Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal. President Trump lashed out at his former lawyer on Wednesday, accusing him of making up stories in order to get a deal from federal prosecutors. Cohen's guilty plea came at almost the same time that Trump's ex-campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, was convicted of separate financial crimes. Although Trump is mostly immune from indictment, while he is president, he's still at risk of being possibly impeached. The whole ordeal is a result of special counsel Robert Mueller's probe into possible collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia, which Trump again denounced as a witch hunt in a tweet on Wednesday. Cohen's lawyer, meanwhile, has said his client is ready to tell everything he knows about Trump to help Mueller's investigation.